She can dance the pants off anyone, but only a few have found their way into her heart. So what's romance like for the woman who came out as not straight? Well, no matter what, it's gonna hurt. Utah-born Julianne Huff is a third-generation dancer who was raised in a Mormon family. It was then that she would cross paths with Zach Wilson, a fellow dancer who also grew up Mormon. As she told Glamour, they met when she was in elementary school, and years later, sparks flew. By 2007, an 18-year-old Huff was engaged to Wilson. They originally planned to get married that year, but after postponing, they finally called the whole thing off. As for what Wilson is up to now, Huff told the outlet, he ended up marrying my childhood best friend, and now they have a kid together. It was a little weird when it happened, but they're a great couple. It didn't take long for Huff to move on with country singer Chuck Wicks. The couple met while Wicks was on tour with Brad Paisley in 2008. Wicks recalled to People, The minute we met, it was perfect. The first date we had, we both had that feeling like we were going to fall in love with each other. Things got serious after they paired up for season 8 of Dancing with the Stars in 2009, and three months after the show wrapped, the couple bought a house. Everything seemed to be chummy between them, and it was a shock when they called it quits in November that year. Okay. So are you single? Um, technically. At the time, a source told People that the split was mutual, but Wicks offered a different take. As he noted on his podcast, Talk to Chuck, out of nowhere, you find out that they're not the person that you thought they were, and you break up hit the fan. I'm not going to throw anybody under the bus, but it wasn't my fault. Just a few months later, Huff was spotted out and about with comedian Dane Cook in 2010. People reported that the dancer had been spotted at one of Cook's shows at the Laugh Factory, as well as dinner with him at Katsuya. The couple never put a label on it, but given how quickly it ended just a few months later, it seems safe to assume it wasn't that serious. But it also wasn't the only time Huff was spotted getting cozy with someone. She had previously been seen with Kings of Leon bassist Jared Folliwell. A rep for the rocker sort of confirmed something was going on, telling people, they are friends and have been hanging. But any would-be relationship never got off the ground. You are gorgeous. I love you so much. Despite saying she wanted to be single and was just focused on having fun, five months after her split with Chuck Wicks, Huff was in another serious relationship. In 2010, she struck up a romance with American Idol host Ryan Seacrest, and apparently it was a long time coming. Huff explained that a mutual friend had wanted to set the pair up when she first moved to Los Angeles, and there had been some chemistry between them over the years. But while they first seemed like two hard-working peas in a pod, their packed calendars ultimately drove them apart by 2013. According to one source for People, they are still in regular contact and remain friends. And it seems like this may actually be the truth. In 2022, the exes came face to face for On Air with Ryan Seacrest. Seacrest acknowledged that the situation had the potential to get weird, but added, There is no, nothing uncomfortable about it because we remain friends for years and still are. Yeah. Huff quickly rebounded with Academy Award winning director Ari Sandel. In July 2013, they were first spotted by TMZ at Nobu Malibu. And a couple of weeks later, on Huff's birthday, the Daily Mail caught Sandel apparently leaving her house. Then that August, Huff Post snapped the loved-up duo at Chateau Marmont. Reps for the pair never actually confirmed that they dated, but it seemed they were certainly feeling a connection. Still, it burned out just as fast as it started. Actor Teddy Sears introduced Huff to former hockey player Brooks Like. At the time, he was based in D.C. and she was in Los Angeles, with Like telling E! News, We talked on the phone and FaceTimed for two months before we physically met each other. A year and a half later, they were engaged, getting married in July 2017. For a while, it seemed like a fairy tale come to life. Having begun fertility treatments, Huff later shared her personal journey, telling Women's Health, I said I'm not straight. It was then that Like even began exploring his own sexuality, according to People. But by January 2020, rumors began to swirl. And when the couple quarantined separately during the height of the pandemic, the whispers seemed to be confirmed. In May 2020, Like and Huff announced their separation via People, with sources claiming both parties had changed a lot over over the years. Many speculated that there was another reason for the split. In April 2020, a full month before Huff and Like announced their separation, the Daily Mail nabbed Huff on a walk in Los Angeles with actor and musician Ben Barnes. So were they more than friends? With onlookers telling E! News the two looked very flirty, yet another insider told Us Weekly that Huff was just using Barnes as a shoulder to cry on, adding, She told Like it was nothing, but it's not. 
Still another source told People, they have been friends for eight years. There is nothing more to it. Whether it's been exactly how I pictured it or not, it was exactly what got me to where I am today. So maybe just chalk this one up to a flirty friendship and leave it at that. As of early 2022, Huff's most recent love interest is a male model named Charlie Wilson, who keeps a low profile and isn't on social media. According to Us Weekly, the pair were first spotted getting cozy near the end of 2021. And shortly after they went public, a source told In Touch, they're a match made in heaven because he's a bit of a hippie, like her, and they both get each other's quirkiness. They haven't been dating long. It seems only time will tell if this will turn into something serious. Either way, we hope Huff gets everything her heart desires. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrity couples are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.